Okay, I just scanned in the chord sheet in the Microsoft Paint. You choose Don't Save because it's asking you if you want to keep what you previously had. No, we don't. All right. So uh, again, I'm going to zoom in here and let's uh, see what happens. So we're going to play through this song and analyze the chords. So we're just going to sing it through and play the chords and see what these people have done. Now this was written by guitar players and so you'll notice there's much less chords and it's much easier for the entire worship band. The, pre the other chord sheet we printed out was so many chords I had to throw it away. Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn King Peace on earth and mercy mild God and sinners reconciled Joyful all ye nations rise Join the triumph of the skies With angelic hosts proclaim Christ is born in Bethlehem Oops, that was wrong. Glory to the newborn king. Pretty good. Um, so the first thing we notice is that there's lots of melody changing here, but there's no chords changing here. Um, typically, I'd like to add a little something in here because it makes the song much more beautiful. But because of this tutorial, we're going to keep things simple. Uh, if anything... I'd add in like a B minor right here. <clears throat> Sounds like this. Hark the herald angels sing. No, um, I'd add in like a. Glory to the. An A. And then newborn king. D, D, A, D. But for simplicity's sake, we'll just keep it this. Hark the herald angels sing. Glory to. Here we need a cadence. So this, again, these hymns, uh, cadences are iconic of these hymns. So we're going to go ahead and add in a cadence here. I normally would not recommend it, but... But these songs are built on cadences, so... Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn King Peace on earth and mercy mild God and sinners reconciled I know this just from doing this song year after year and possibly if you're a worship leader and you hear this a lot you'll hear the cadence and wonder where it's at in the court sheet well, that's why we added it we don't need the suspended here. That's just a fancy coloration that's going to... Unnecessary information that could distract our worship team. So peace. <laughs> Mercy, my old God. And that's a good spot for the chord. God and sinners reconciled. Again, we have... Um, again, we have a cadence here. I am going to remove the A from his play. Reconcile. Because we already have, we're already doing an A here. This time I'm not. Uh, previously I kept the, if I was on one chord, I'd put the same chord and then do the cadence, the perfect cadence, the one, five, one. But this time I'm not. Our basis will be, will be fine. He just likes the extra note in there. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconcile. Um, another thing we can do here if you want to is you can split up this word because the, the chords are going to be real close together. 
Reckon. It's not necessary, but uh, it's a little extra work, but sometimes it can be a little easier with the chords. Okay, God and sinners reckon. Oops. Consult. So we, we were playing an A. Reconcile. And if that's a perfect cadence, so 151 one. from the A, then the 1. Then the, the fifth of an A in the A major scale, the fifth is an E. E chord, so we'll grab that. Or you can type it in, or you can just, you know, grab it from over here. Reckon. I'm going to type it in. E. Whoa. That is intense. Let's lower our size here. Okay, there's our E. <clears throat> God is in reconciled. Looks good, joyful, all ye nations rise. Join the triumph of the skies. That looks good. With, with angelic hosts proclaim Christ is born. Again, we have a perfect cadence, one, five, one. So let's just move this. Um, Beth, Lahem. Let's move this whole group over. First he is born in Beth. Beth should be a D. The A. Again, I... Uh, Hold, held control on my keyboard on the Windows paint, and then I scrolled up with my mouse. And Beth, la oh, okay, here's a time when we need transparent selection. Christ is born, Christ is born, Beth, Glory to the newborn King. Okay. So we don't need this at all. The new. Read to the newborn King. D A D. Perfect cadence. One one five one. We do not need this at all. And then we copy. Everything we've done from verse 1 over to verse 2 and verse 3. So it's a lot of work, but uh, that's why we ask for payment. Seven of the cost the everlasting Lord. Gotta make sure it's over the right syllables, because that's the best way to get accurate. Of right, righteousness. All right. Somehow God and sin is reconciled. Offspring of the virgins. Again, we can leave this in there if we want. I'm taking out because it's assumed that we stay on the last chord. I'm 
hitting control V and in his wings. Pretty good. Don't gotta be perfect. Holy nation, really enjoying the time from the sky. God hit see kill the incarnate is sweet. We don't have to do anything for this third line. Please just let the man to dwell, Jesus. Amen. You all we have to do for this one is move the A back. Let's do that on this line. We move it back one syllable. Alright, because as musicians and courtship creators and songwriters we write according to syllables and not just the words but also the syllable hark uh, hark herald angels sing glory to the newborn king hark the herald angels sing glory to the newborn king all we gotta do is delete that that and we are done. Done. Done, 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 done.